On today's video, we have a sponsor who sent out this OBD2 scanner with multifunctionality. So I'm going to hook it up to the GSF and see what capabilities it actually has and see if it's any good. GTR on the back. I'm a fan of that already. Here are some of the features of the OBD2 scanner. Could easily check why you have a check engine light, turns off check engine lights, which is clearing them. You could view freeze frames, read store codes, use live data, troubleshoot, internet updatable and upgradable, and it checks your battery. So it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and unbox it, see what's inside. All right, stop the show. Do you guys see this case that it comes with? carbon fiber style case what i am impressed very impressed with this case all right look at that look at that you have your user manual which you should probably read through if this is your first time using these type of scanners it will give you a much more detailed instructions of how to actually use this and use it correctly but I'll give you a quick overview of this because I've used these scanners before when I worked at the auto parts stores and everything like that. So this is probably the most important part of this list. So you have, when you're reading your freeze frame rates, these are all the descriptions of the, of the, of the code. So let's say if you want to check your catalyst converter, you'll, Go to this code HTR cat and read that long fuel long-term fuel trims those are the codes that we will use to measure and monitor those sequences so that is pretty cool that's gonna come in handy so you know everything but let's hop into the GSF connect it and see what it's and all if about. you guys have not seen my previous video where I install these LED lighting strips ha, be sure to check it out so I'm gonna go under here and connect this to my OBD2 port, which I'm feeling around for. There it is. All right, you connect it and bam, right away, just like that, scanner has turned on. Very nice. So all you have to do is you turn on your ignition And then we could start playing with this sucker. So let's see what we could check here. I'm very curious to actually see the battery setting. So I'm gonna click okay on that. And since my car is off, it is only reading 1.8 volts, but let me go ahead and actually fire it up because I'm curious to see what it's gonna read. live uh, a view of it so if I were to rev it a little bit you can see how the volts change a little bit 13.9 that's pretty nice all right let us go back let's go into OBD2 the first setting click OK basically your check engine light it is off DCT count zero monitor okay eight monitoring inclusive zero monitoring three ignition is spark okay so basically everything is legit ECM this is the module list here 
So let's say if I wanted to read codes, let's see if there's any codes stored. So let's see, let's see stored codes. Okay, no stored codes, that's what I like to see. Pending codes. No pending codes, very good. Permanent codes. No. Charlie! Shut up! All right, then you could erase codes if need be. Live data, this is where the fun starts, okay? Let's say, so you could record your live data, play it back, view it as a graph. Okay, so let's go to graph, press okay. And let's say we wanna see our RPMs in real time. And you could see multiple things at once. So let's go RPM and math airflow. Okay, now. And basically, you see page one of two. Right now we're displaying RPMs. So at the top, it shows you the RPM variations right there. If I give it a little blip. You could see it jump along with the graph, which is pretty sick. So it tells me the max RPM that we just ref to is 2966, which is awesome. Then if I click down, this is the mass airflow sensor. Let's see if anything changes with the mass. Yeah, the number does change actually. So that's pretty awesome. So you can monitor that, see if your mass airflow is working or not. Very sweet. All right, let's go back. Load PCT. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I'm guessing that's the load on the engine. Yeah, probably. Okay. So there's multiple functions that you could actually check out and see on this, which is freaking awesome. Let me see what all data stream is. Okay, so all data stream, it basically preloads all of those settings that you could see and check for yourself. So check engine is off, load is at 31, ECT, I guess that's some kind of temperature, fuel trim, one is at 4.7, fuel trim, two is at 70 RPMs, how much spark advance is detected. That's pretty cool. And then your over, or oxygen sensors, how much voltage you're getting, how much they're reading. And it changes live right in front of you, which is freaking awesome. What else do we have here? I mean, bunch of things that you can monitor need be if you have some kind of issues. Look at that, catalytic converter temperatures already up to 495 degrees. Heat up quickly, I know, because I got burned firsthand from these damn catalytic converters because they get super hot. Cool. But basically that's what you could check on that so that is that is awesome the all the all data stream super sweet and then if you want to see individual freeze frames okay none are stored vehicle info let's see what it picks up for that turn key on then let's see if it'll actually find my VIN oh wow look at that it found my VIN pretty crazy I am readiness. That is pretty cool. So if you're going to go and get your emission test done, you could tell if you're gonna pass or fail right there. And I'm gonna pass. There's no check engine lights. Uh, everything is basically check mark green. 
H cat. I don't know what that, I guess it's the heat of the cat. It's not fully warmed up. That's why it's showing that and air. I don't know what that is, but we pass. So that's good to know. That right there is good to know if you're going to pass your emissions or not. Because for those of you guys that don't know, if you just clear your check engine light and go to the emission test and get it tested, you're going to fail. Mode six. So this is where, I'm sorry, this is where you could check each individual, you know, I believe part. Let's see here. See if it has any misfires on any cylinders. And pass, so there's no misfires. So you could check individual things. Pretty sweet. O2 sensor test. Interesting. Let's see. I mean, yeah, that's basically the same test that's going to tell you if it's passing or failing. And then DCT lookup. So I believe this is where you have codes and you want to look up what the code is. So let's say, let's go down to Lexus GSF. And I remember I had a code was when I had the check engine light. What was the code? P14, I believe, 03 or something like that. Let's see what this shows up. Okay, anything? Entered the code, home girl. Input value P043. I O S E reserve. I guess that's what the code is showing up. Let's change it and see if it shows us anything else. Yeah, I don't know about that, but you could play with it and figure it out. Let's see, D T C. What is that? Okay, so that's if you want to check your codes quickly. And then I believe the battery is a quick access button right there. I mean, that is sweet, guys. And you have settings. Let's go into the settings menu. Oh, uh, the beep. Turn that off. Hallelujah. Because that was so annoying. Sorry about that, guys. Self-test. Display test, keyboard test, LED test. So you could test the machine itself, see if it's working properly your data logging so you can log it turn it on and off units metric awesome product right here guys I am very very impressed with this I will have a link in the description below if you want to get yours and check it out there's gonna be a discount code very handy scanner to have very nice package that it comes into let me shut the car off here but absolutely impressed with this scanner. If those of you guys that have like the scanners that go, you know, the OBD2 scanners that are Bluetooth connected to your phone, they're nowhere near as quick as this. And this is very convenient to have. So I'm very impressed with this product. What do you guys think? Frenchie, Charlie, I am super impressed with this product, guys. E-D-I-A-G is the brand. Let me try to butcher this name. Ediag scanner. Super lightweight. Very, very quick to scan. That's the thing I noticed. It scans very quickly, which is very impressive. Awesome case that it comes in. So you could throw this in your trunk. If you ever get a check engine light, you need to clear it or need to see what code it is. Pull it out, scan it, check it out, call it a day awesome scanner you could check your battery voltage you could read your freeze frames store logs and absolutely phenomenal product okay guys if you're interested check out the link below use the coupon code to get a little bit of a discount on it and if you're if you need one check them out guys very impressed with this product